everyone! Welcome and welcome back sa aking channel. If you're new here, my name is Irene. And for today's episode ay gagawa tayo ng Moist Chocolate Cupcake. And yes, hindi tayo gagamit ng oven dito. Ito ay half kilo recipe na patok pang negosyo, especially ngayong nalalapit ang Valentine's Day. You can top it with your favorite toppings, icing or frosting. Kaya kung extra income ang hanap mo, Perfect ito para sa'yo. Please check description box for the written ingredients and costing. Sa mga hindi pa alam kung sa makikita ang description box, eto po yun. Click nyo lang yan. So tara, let's get started. So eto yung mga ingredients na kakailanganin natin for half kilo recipe. Gagamit tayo dito ng 7 medium size eggs, 3 cups of white sugar, you can adjust according to your taste, Half kilo of all-purpose flour, half kilo is equivalent to 4 cups, and yes, pwede kayo gumamit dito ng cake flour, 1 cup of melted margarine, pwedeng butter or vegetable oil, ang gamit ko dito ay butter cup, half teaspoon of salt just to balance the sweetness, 1 and 1 third cup of cocoa powder, ang gamit ko dito ay JB15, I suggest na magandang klase ng cocoa powder ang gamitin nyo, like Bensdorp or Dutch, 1 cup of hot water, 2 cups of evaporated milk, pwedeng fresh milk or powdered milk, dissolve nyo lang sa 2 cups of water, half teaspoon of white vinegar, dato puti ang gamit ko, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, 1 teaspoon of coffee powder, eto ay optional lang, okay? Pwede kayo mag-add, pwedeng hindi, 4 teaspoon of baking powder, and 4 teaspoon of baking soda. First, ay mix natin ang ating 1 teaspoon of coffee powder sa hot water para madissolve ito. Optional lang ito pero kung curious kayo ba tayo naglalagay ng coffee powder, coffee kasi enhances the flavor of chocolate. Mas rich at chocolatey yung outcome ng cake nyo pag may coffee powder. But careful lang dapat, huwag masyadong marami yung coffee powder ang ilalagay nyo. A teaspoon or half tablespoon sa half kilo recipe ay pwede na. Especially if dark processed cocoa powder ang gamit nyo dahil papait yung cake or cupcake nyo pag nasobrahan. Then set aside lang muna na natin ito. In a mixing bowl, combine natin ang ating wet and dry ingredients starting off with our eggs. Crack natin ito isa-isa and make sure na walang eggshell na nahalo. Then add natin ang ating 1 cup of melted butter or margarine, 2 cups of evaporated milk, 3 cups of white sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then mix well. Once na nahalo natin ito mabuti, ay sift naman natin ang ating dry ingredients. 4 teaspoon of baking powder, 4 teaspoon of baking soda, half kilo of all-purpose flour, and 1 and 1 third cup of cocoa powder. Then mix well. So bakit nga ba all-purpose flour ang gamit ko at hindi cake flour? Well, depende kasi yan kung ano ang gusto nyong maging texture ng inyong cake. If you want a rich and moist texture sa inyong cake, then use all-purpose flour. Kung gusto nyo naman ay soft, airy, fluffy, like chiffon cake na texture, then go for cake flour. Alam ko meron sa inyo ang magtatanong, pwede bang walang baking soda? So what happens when you don't add baking soda to your cake? Baking soda is a salt or leavening agent that makes food light and fluffy. If you don't have the ingredient at hand, use the baking soda substitute. So, ano nga bang magandang substitute for baking soda? Siyempre, leavening agent then, and that's baking powder. But, at 3 times what the recipe calls for. So, if this recipe calls for a 4 teaspoon of baking soda, you have to multiply it by 3. So, that's 12 teaspoon of baking powder. Kung i-convert natin to tablespoon, bali 4 tablespoon ng baking powder ang gagamitin nyo kung wala kayong baking soda. Same nang sa puto cheese, di ba walang baking soda ang puto cheese? Kaya 1 tablespoon na baking powder in each cup of all-purpose flour ang nilalagay natin. Now, let's add in our half teaspoon of salt. Sa part na to ay mahirap i-mix ang ating mixture. That's why yung ating hot water na may coffee powder ay hindi ko sinabay sa ating wet ingredients kanina. So ngayon na na-add na natin ang ating dry ingredients, saka natin ihalo ang ating coffee mixture. Gradually lang dapat. That way, madali na siya i-mix at i-combine. Ganito ginagawa ko para maiwasan na ma-overmix ang ating mixture. Once na well combined na ang ating wet and dry ingredients, let's add in half teaspoon of vinegar. 
Bakit tayo maglalagay ng vinegar? Hindi naman to paksiw. Vinegar kasi reacts with the baking soda. So when they are combined, they release carbon dioxide. A gas that helps our cake and cupcakes na umalsa while we bake or steam them. And don't worry, dahil half teaspoon lang yan, hindi aase ang inyong cake. Dapat ganito ang ma-achieve nyo na consistency. Not too thick at hindi rin malabnaw. So now na ready na ang ating mixture, ay prepare naman natin ang ating molder and cupcake liner. Ang gamit ko ng molder ay large, number 308. Yung cupcake liner naman na gamit ko ay 2 oz. Sa paglagay ng mixture ay hindi ko na ito sinukat, basta nasa 340 to ng ating cupcake liner. And guys, pwede kayo maglagay ng toppings dito like chocolate chips or nuts, depende sa gusto nyo. At habang naglalagay pa tayo ng mixture sa ating cupcake liner, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to smash that subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell and click all para ma-notify kayo pag may bago tayong uploads. And guys, may Facebook page na pala tayo. So sa mga handsome and beautiful viewers out there, follow nyo ang Facebook page natin. Dahil may pag ako soon para sa ating 100k milestone. At doon ako magpo-post ng mechanics. Kaya kung sino lang yung nakafollow doon, sila lang ang makaka-join sa ating pag -giveaway. Sa araw ng mga puso, ang pag natin. Okay, let's move on naman sa ating steamer. Make sure na yung water natin ay kulong-kulo. At kung napapansin nyo, konti lang yung tubig. Huwag masyadong marami. Then, cover your lid with clean cloth para hindi matulungan ng water dripping sa ating cupcake. Then, steam for 12 to 15 minutes over medium-low heat. Kung gusto nyo na maumbok yung outcome ng cupcake nyo. Pero kung gusto nyo naman na putok yung top, steam nyo for 10 to 12 minutes using high heat setting. Mag-set ng timer para sure at hindi pa na bukas ng takip ng inyong steamer to check if luto na ito dahil magda-drop yung temperature sa loob ng inyong steamer. And yes, pwede nyo rin ito i-bake in a preheated oven for 18 to 20 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. After 12 minutes, do a toothpick check. If it comes out clean or with few moist crumbs, luto na ito. Pero kung basa pa, extend mo ng 3 minutes, then check again. Actually guys, dapat yung episode natin for today ay may kasamang boiled icing recipe for topping sa ating cupcakes. Pero di ako satisfied sa outcome ng aking boiled icing dahil hindi siya ganun ka-stable. Kaya hindi ko muna isi-share ito sa inyo, okay? Sa next upload na lang natin once na na-perfect ko na. Pero kung meron kayo icing or Swiss meringue recipe, pwedeng-pwede nyo ito itop sa ating moist chocolate cupcake. And ready to serve na at pwede na ibenta ang ating moist chocolate cupcake. Kung napapansin nyo ay perfect dome shape ito at hindi nagka-crack yung top niya. Perfect lagyan ng icing or frosting. Moist ito at rich yung chocolate flavor niya. Kaya mas maganda talaga na magandang klase ng cocoa powder ang gagamitin nyo. At para naman sa ating shoutout portion, mega mega shoutout to It's Me, Violet. Pabisita na rin guys na kanyang channel, marami din siyang masasarap na recipes na pwede nyo ihain sa inyong pamilya. At pwede rin pang negosyo. To the Lins Fam Vlog. Baguhang YouTuber po siya na hanap ay legit na kaibigan. Special shoutout na rin to Jeanette Abrenica and to Jasmine Dihito. Disclaimer lang guys ha, ang presyo ng mga ingredients ay pwede magkakaiba depende kung gaano karami ang binili at kung saan binili. Sa retail price ng ating moist chocolate cupcake ay pwede nyo dagdagan o bawasan depende kung magkano ang ginastos nyo. Sana ay nakatulong to video na to at nabigyan kayo ng idea paano kumita gamit ang maliit na puhunan lamang. At sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, please subscribe sa ating YouTube channel and please click the notification bell and click all para ma-notify kayo pang may bago tayong uploads. Thank you guys for watching and happy cooking!